Alrighty, how's it going y'all? It's your girl Melissa here, and welcome back to our vanilla 1.20 Minecraft Let's Play. First things first, 500 subscribers? Are you kidding? Y'all are crazy! I'm starting to question your taste in videos, y'all. But no, seriously, thank you so much. It's been insane, the amount of support that I've gotten recently and i never thought i would get this amount of support so thank you thank you so much and if you haven't noticed i changed my skin uh i had a wonderful person by the name of yandi on fiverr make this skin for me because i tried making my own skin and i don't know what i'm doing so i have this now and i think it's perfect it matches my new like profile thing and everything i love the sweatshirt like i love everything about it it's perfect so this is my new skin let me know what you think i love it i'll leave a link in the description to uh yandi uh because they were super duper great super nice and they really delivered with the skin I love it. Uh, I do apologize if you do hear any sort of um, humming or anything in the background. The real feel right now uh, is like 105 degrees and yeah, it's, it's really hot today. So yeah, I'm sorry if there's any fan noise in the background. It just needs to be done, okay? <laughs> I do my best to drown it out with a noise gate, noise suppression and stuff like that, so. Hopefully it works out, but uh, we'll see. We'll see. <laughs> you guys let me know if it works out or not, and I'll be able to keep the fan in. So today, today is going to be kind of a building day, a very chill. We're not going and risking our lives or anything. I mean, anything could happen, but we're going to be building a couple of automatic farms, particularly sugarcane, bamboo, and cactus farms. Um, because I need, I really needed to clean up out here. Um, we need to clean up the animal pens too, but we're going to be making some, some, uh, farms, if you would, for those. Um, don't mind the mess over here. I'm trying to oxidize some copper to build with. I don't, I'm not going to build with it for a while, but before we get started, we have to do something really important. We have to go pay our respects to previous Melissa's. Our first death. We got a little close to the edge. Rest in peace. Our second death. On the way to get our stuff, we forgot our gold in the nether, and we got wrecked by a piglin. Rest in peace. Last but not least, the dreaded lava. Bombarded by piglins. It was just an accident, and I fell into lava. Rest in peace. So yeah. Anyways, moving on. Uh, as we, uh, die progressively, I, which I'm sure is gonna happen, I'm not great at Minecraft, okay? We'll keep adding little headstones <laughs> and paying our respects. Hopefully this is enough space. Hopefully I don't have to, uh, expand it very much, but, you know, anything can happen. And this, okay, I'm gonna explain my idea for this real quick. So this, I plan on turning into kind of like a, a really nice pond area. And I'm going to terraform the mountain so that we have a waterfall going from the top of the mountain all the way down into our pond. I like the top of the mountain idea, like the thought that like the snow is melting and it's making this like really beautiful waterfall. And we have this nice little like reservoir, like nice pond that we can get water from, we can fish in, etc., etc. So that's kind of my idea. Uh, that's why this is a mess. I'm kind of like mapping out where the where I want the pond. And then over here, we since this is like kind of our main direction to get down way deep in the caves, I plan on kind of making this into a a mining entrance. I think it would be really cool. Oh, there's a really dark spot over there. Okay, noted. Um, so yeah, that's kind of my idea for this. I'm kind of excited. I think it's gonna look really cool. So yeah, uh, that's the dealio. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and get started. I 
definitely am a professional Minecrafter and I know all about redstone and I definitely didn't- Oh, how do you like my well too? I like this much better. I think it's super cute. Yeah, I definitely didn't look up any sort of tutorials on these super simple farms. Uh, we are gonna do it in this uh, cave area. I don't really want it like way out in the open because then like I have to build around it. <laughs> um, otherwise it's really ugly. So I figure we can make this like really cool like farm cave kind of deal. I haven't decided if I want to go for a natural cave entrance or some sort of structured cave entrance or a combination of both. Let me know in the comments uh, which I should go with because I really haven't decided yet. And I'll be decorating the inside of it so uh, you guys can decide after I decorate it. So this is uh, the area that I have mined out. Uh, we're gonna have sugarcane, bamboo, and then this is gonna be where our little cactus farm is. These are gonna be all chests over here. And then these are kind of just like access to like the back of the farm in case something's broken or whatever, you know, because I'm a professional. So yeah, that's kind of what we got going on right now. I'm excited. This is gonna be good. Uh, so we're gonna do this today to uh, farm up stuff, get things started as far as automatic farms, and then uh, later on in the episode, I think I'm gonna work on the village. I've got like two designs that I want to do today, and I'm really excited to show you. I love them so much. I have like such great ideas for the the village and building it up and making it really cool and really pretty. We've got a whole bunch of, uh, we've got some decoration blocks. I'm going to use the bamboo. I think it's going to look pretty good. Hear me out. We've got all this stuff, all this stuff and things to get us started. Oh, also, if you didn't see my community post, I built a very long straightaway bridge to uh, the Crimson and Warped Forest so that it's a little bit safer. It doesn't have any rails except for in the Soul Sand Valley, just because I don't want any skeletons to uh, shoot me. <laughs> and then have a uh, deja vu moment. Um, so yeah, that's what I got going on. So I do have quite a bit of Warped Wood and Crimson Wood that I'm going to be building with today as well. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and get started with this. Um, oh, I do need some uh, mine carts, don't I? <laughs> so we'll start on the sugarcane farm. I built a lot of stuff. I think we're going to do uh, mud for the sugarcane farm. We'll grab some sugarcane. We'll need this and observers. And we'll also need this glass. Uh, building blocks for sure. And I think that's it, honestly, for this farm. Uh, so I'll, I'll walk through basically how to make this farm, assuming I do it right. I'm kind of going off memory from the video I watched. I watched Waddle's tutorial. I'll leave it in the description. And I watched it once and I'm going to go completely based on memory and hope that I got it. <laughs> um, so first things first, we're going to go ahead and put some hoppers in here. Placing hoppers, you want to uh, shift shift and click into the thing that you want it to like go into. Um, it took me a while to figure that out, so that's why I'm like letting you know. We need to uh, make some, we need to make rails go over this, uh, not powered rails, because if you put powered rails over this, it's not going to work. It's going to lock up these and it's you're not going to get anything and then what we want to do is we want to bring it around here uh we'll power these rails and we'll bring it let me see let me double check here so i think we got to go all the way over here and we'll power these rails as well i hope i did that right i don't know i'm already messing up I pr i'm pretty sure <laughs> so we'll go ahead and I think this will work, right? No. Oh boy. Here we go. I'm 
already messing up. Will that work? I think that should do it. I think that won't mess things up. I hope. Hold on. I think I did this wrong. Because the uh, water... Water is going to go here. And then this. Hold on. <laughs> I already... I'm pretty sure I already messed up. Everybody, it's me, Waddles. Are you looking for a sugar cane farm? Okay. So, yes. I'm pretty sure that I messed up a little bit. I think I need to move this over here. Uh, so, we're actually going to, like, redo this. Because I want... I want to be able to see the sugar cane. So I'm pretty sure that will do it. So we put the we put the water here on this side. Let me double uh <laughs> yes, okay. I think I think this is correct. I think I need to move this though. I'm not smart. Okay. I'm just not. Okay. I think we're good. I'm pretty sure we're good on that. So we're gonna put we're gonna put mud over here. Oh my gosh, am I really messing this up right now? Yeah, we're gonna put mud over here, and then we need to put mud on the other side as well. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna get some uh, we're gonna get some stairs, and we're gonna get up here real quick. And we're actually going to go like this. And then waterlog all of these so that we can actually grow our sugar cane. Yeah, this is this is not going to be like an exact replica, like at all. So <laughs> just a heads up. Listen, listen, guys, I'm doing my best over here. Like I said, I am not I'm not tech savvy. OK, I'm just not. OK, so. This is what we've got, and so what we need to do is we put a block. We put blocks here. I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna have to raise this up one. That's okay. I can do that real quick. I don't, I think, I think this should be an okay height. I hope. I don't really wanna, I don't really wanna bring it up again. So, now that we've got that, we are, let me see, we are going to, I think, place blocks here, and then we put pistons, not that way, I'm trying to remember, is it this way? No, 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 we gotta go this way, so we put pistons this way, wherever we're gonna be doing our sugar cane, and then... We put, we put observers facing this way. So the back, the red portion is facing the back. I, I like to remember it. Like these are little faces, like these are the eyeballs. And so that's the direction that they're observing the block changes, the, you know, block changes. I don't know. And then... I think we put, I think we put blocks here and then we have to put redstone dust. If I'm wrong, I'm wrong. I, <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. So if I'm not mistaken, this should be ready to go. I'm pretty sure this is it. Let's, oh, let's get our sugar cane and test it real quick. Yes. Awesome. Okay, so that works. I'm super pumped about that. Uh, let's actually wait until we're completely done with the farm. Uh, so what we're going to do is just repeat this on the other side here. Um, yeah, so I'm just going to do that real quick. Okay. It's a little messy back here, but pretty sure she works. So we're going to go ahead and uh put in our um our sugar cane over here perfect and now what we need is a hopper minecart i need to get some iron real quick pretty sure it's like this no oh i have to make a minecart first apparently there we go there we go okay i got it got it got it got it got it okay and then what we do 
is we just kind of like stick this on here right and then um let me grab a trap door real quick so we can get that started okay and now it is a little noisy but now what it should do is pick up our sugar cane it's not picking up our sugar cane oh my god are you kidding okay so it picks up the sugar cane um uh, when it's on when it's on the mud block so what we're gonna have to do is we block it off with glass right here so that it all goes on there but other than that it works dude we just have to cover it up cover it up with a a nice build and we're we're good to go dude um i do have glass um we're gonna use white stained glass uh make sure it's blocks otherwise um it will still like how do i say this um it'll still get caught on this block on this one right here so if we do just regular old white stained glass the full blocks it's not gonna land on this so we're just gonna go ahead and do that we're gonna line her up right here perfect and then on that side i don't have to worry about it because we have the wall to catch everything yay i'm so excited this is so cool yay i did it guys i did it i made my first farm and it works let's uh let's actually test it out again <laughs> i'm so like i want to make sure that it works Okay, so if I go like this, it lands on the mud, it gets picked up, and put in here. Oh, it works, guys! Oh, I'm so pumped. Oh, we'll have to, we have to... Ay, ay, ay. We'll, uh, we'll put, like, wood or something over here. We'll line it with, like, a nice wood. Whether it be a, either warped... I think it's going to be warped wood that we're going to use mostly for decoration in here. Yeah, so, oh, this is so cool. I'm so excited. And so we're going to do the exact same thing. We're basically going to replicate this entire farm on the other side right here. Uh, so I'm going to have to raise this up again. But yeah, so we're going to we're going to completely replicate it. Um, so, yeah, we're going to do that, I guess. I don't know. Made a mistake <laughs> um i went and i went ahead and recorded a whole bunch of stuff and um my baby woke up earlier than i thought he was gonna wake up and so i left my computer recording even though i thought i stopped recording it um but i left my computer recording and i didn't come back for a really long time and uh i came into the room and I came into the room and I seen a little pop-up on my computer and it said that um, I had no memory left. Basically the computer uh, equivalent of I'm tired boss. So, you know, it stopped recording for me, it corrupted the whole file, and I lost everything. So, um, I'm just going to show you the aftermath. Uh, because that's all I have. Let's, I, I just give you a little tour. I don't remember, uh, exactly, uh, where it's, where I stopped recording. I think I left it off at a time lapse of me building the second one here. Um, but yeah, so this is like our green farm, if you would. We have all this beautiful warp, warped wood stuff. I have some uh, leaves tucked in here for the particle effects. I think it looks nice. I kind of like the, the lime green of the bamboo with the warped. I think it kind of looks cool. 
but yeah and then we have little pink accents we have some glow lichen it's noisy in here because of the the mine carts but it is very nice i think it i think it looks really good i was debating how to do like the ceiling and the floor if i wanted to do wood or if i wanted to do some sort of stone and i think i made a good choice uh for it being like kind of a really textured stone thing i don't know what i'm talking about but yeah, we just got like regular stone, cobblestone, some deep slate, a little bit of tough here. Um, so yeah, I think it looks really good. We've got uh, soul lanterns, uh, shroom lights. We've got hidden lights underneath the leaves as well. But yeah, um, we've got our sugar cane over here that's been running for a little bit. Um, not too long. It's not, listen, it's not efficient. It's not the most efficient farm in the world. I don't I don't care that it's not efficient. I'm going to be around here anyway, so it'll be running for a really long time. Um, this is our bamboo. Like I said, not efficient, but you know what? It works, and I'm proud of myself, okay? And then we have our cactus here, which is slowly but surely also building up. So yeah, I don't think I ended up doing anything with the cactus farm. So just real quick so we can get the heck out of here. So we've got a water stream underneath. Here, let me build up a little bit. So we have a water stream on either corner over here running underneath into a hopper running into the chest. And then I just put some glass blocks with sand blocks on top and then you plant the cactus on that and in between every cactus you put a fence post one more block above that way when the cactus grows it doesn't like being next to anything oh just heard oh yeah look oh that's sad some of it gets stuck up on there i don't know how to fix that if y'all know how to fix that let me know i didn't think that would happen oh well it's okay but yeah, so cactus does not like being next to other blocks. So when it grows and it's like, oh my gosh, there's a fence there, it pops off. And so when it pops off, just like that, it goes into the water stream. And it goes into our chest. That was perfect timing, dude. That was awesome. <laughs> so yeah, this is our little farm area. I'm pretty proud of myself. It's not pretty behind here, but like... Nobody's really going behind here except me, so. <laughs> and I'm debating whether or not I want to go in there and uh, fix up the stone that's on the inside of the cactus farm. Maybe, maybe not. Like, that, I feel like that's a lot. I already covered it up, so maybe not. <laughs> I don't know. But yeah, let me know what you guys think. I think it looks really good, and I love the, the glow berries. Um, just, it, it's, I think it's really cute. So yeah, I'm just a big old dingus. I I was recording a time lapse of me decorating that thing and I went through the whole cactus farm thing and I'm just a big old dingus and I left my computer recording. I think I've done both things now. I've not recorded and then I've left it recorded. So I guess, you know, that's life of being a new YouTuber is you make a bunch of dumb old mistakes and you lose stuff. So that's a cool thing. But here we are. Our next goal for today is to build the thing that I've been wanting to build for a while now that I designed. And I'm so ready to get started on the, uh, the villager housing. So I have two houses that I'm going to build today. I do have a chest over there ready to go. I'm hoping it's enough supplies. We'll see. <laughs> I really don't want to go back to the nether and get more wood. So I'm hoping. I'm hoping and praying. I think maybe next episode I'll have maybe this cut out. A nice little like trail. I'll terraform this and make, make a nice path going up through here. So that our... Access to the village is a little prettier. Um, yeah, this happened, so that was really cool. Freaking creepers messing up my landscape. Get off my lawn, yo. And uh, this bridge, uh, as, you know, useful as it is, 
Um, I think we could do a little better. It's, it's temporary, okay? Until I can figure out how to make a bridge that looks good. We still got that floating snow block. Maybe I should make like a shrine to it or something. Okay, so here we are at the village. Let's find a couple of houses. I think we're gonna start over here. Um, just, you know, and work our way in. I think we will remodel these two houses right on the end here. We need to have the residents sign a waiver, whoever is living there. Oh, is it you? Was that your house over there? Oh, it is? Or is it yours? Oh, both those are your houses. Oh, perfect. So, um, I'm gonna have to have you guys sign these waivers. Um, excuse you. Um, you need to sign this. Uh, basically saying that I have permission to do whatever I want to your house, and you'll be happy about it. Okay? No cost to you, dude. No cost to you. Yeah, no cost. It's free. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for signing that. And I'm going to get right to work. Let's bring in the, the demo team, I guess. <laughs> I think my clients are going to be very pleased with what I have to offer them. I'm so excited. It's going to be so fun. I just got to make sure not to hit that guy. I think he's uh, checking on me. Make sure I'm up to no good. Or up to up to good? Make sure I'm not up to no good, right? I don't know. Listen, your girl is tired this morning. So I'm sorry if I like sound super duper groggy. I didn't get much sleep last night, not gonna lie. But I'm awake. You know when you're like so tired and you get like a second wind and you can't go back to sleep? That's pretty much where I'm at right now. Uh, my baby stayed up until 6 o'clock in the morning, so that's really good. I think we're gonna need to do like a villager breeder soon, I think. Because if we're gonna start uh, trading with these guys, we want to build like kind of like a trading hall thing kind of dealio. We're gonna need more villagers. We could try our hand at like an automatic like potato farm or something too. Or an automatic wheat farm because uh, I think it's mud. The new like mud brick stuff. I think that requires wheat. We'll see. We'll see. Whatever we feel like, I guess. So, uh, at the end of this, because I messed up so bad and lost all that footage, I think for just a little bit extra content, I'm gonna go find the best horse that I can. Uh, at least around in this area. And I've got a name picked out already. I think you guys are gonna like it. <laughs> It's pretty funny. I'm gonna leave it up to you to figure out why I think I, I, I named it that. And, uh, you know, if you if you get it right, uh, I don't know, you get props for, I don't know, you get props. <laughs> yeah, yeah, here you go. If you get, if you get it right, if you can guess why I named the horse what I did, I will give you a cookie. I will make cookies and I will give you a cookie. I'll probably like, I can like name it and then I'll put it on the wall and it'll be your cookie in my world. <laughs> what a silly idea. You see all those villagers over there? Oh my goodness. Good grief. They're really just out here living their best life. I'm hoping this won't take too long. I have my reference pictures from my build world. I did a different style roof that I love, but I don't know. I was confused about like how I even did it in the first place. So I'm hoping that I can replicate it. We'll see, we'll see. <laughs> I was really happy about it though. It also requires uh, some hanging signs and I didn't know how to make it. I thought you just like make a sign and then you put like chains with it. But it's kind of, I mean, okay, listen, it, it, you take six stripped logs, right? And you put them, oh, hi, don't worry, don't worry, I'll get it back up and running in no time. Don't you worry. Oh, is that your house? Oh, are you just choosing that house now? Oh, oh, uh, 
Um, I will leave you guys be. There you go. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Actually, I need to steal this bed. Thank you. <laughs> what was I saying? Oh, uh, yeah, so the... Oh, excuse me. So, yeah, the hanging signs. It's six stripped logs and then um, chains. Two chains. And then it gives you six hanging signs. So it's like, it's kind of annoying that you have to strip the logs. Um, but I think it like makes up for it in giving you so many signs. All right. So we're going to go ahead and map this out a bit. I think the bigger house will be on this side here. Yeah, we'll go right here. And then we'll go back one here. One, two, three, and then it's one, two, three. Oops. Like I said, these are the small houses. They're nothing special. They're just the regular old villager houses. So this is our outline. We've got our outline down uh, for the bigger house that I have planned. And then for the smaller house, it's much more simple. It's, uh, let's see, it is like this. We'll go, we'll start, I think, right here, right here. And then we'll go one, two, three, place it. And then one, two, three, four, five, place it. One, two, three, four, five, place it. Oh, nope. Listen, I'm an okay builder. I'm not the best builder. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, I like it. I like it a lot. Okay, so now that we have our um, outline here, I think I'm going to switch it into a time lapse. And I hope you guys enjoy. We'll uh, bring it back when they're both all done. And I'm excited to show you guys. I think we're done with this house uh the bigger of the two houses that i'm going to be building today i'm probably going to put a little chimney um using the deep slate and warp trap doors and a soul campfire i think that's going to look really good this is the roof that i decided to go with it's got like a little dip in it it's a little bit different than what i'm normally used to and i really like it and then we have like you know this is our entrance kind of roof deal um i love this palette i love how the pink goes really well with both the crimson and the teal of the warped wood and then we have you know the darker uh like stone and wood to go along with it i think it really like makes everything pop really well and uh so yeah this is this is the build. I'm really proud of it. I love the way it looks. Uh, I'm going to detail it off camera. Um, I'm probably going to put um, some like bushes and little flower pots and things of that nature around here. And I did do a little bit of the interior. Super basic because, uh, you know, it's a it's a basic 
villager house. So nothing special in here. I'll probably put a potted plant over here. Uh, we've got our bed and I do have some hidden light under here. Uh, I really like these for curtains. I think they look pretty cool. Hi, this is not your house. I did not build this for you. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. We're gonna have to fix this. This is not your house. Get out. 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 Shoot. No. Eh, eh. You did not sign the waiver. No. So, <laughs> he was quite rude, wasn't he? <laughs> so, yeah. This is really basic. We have, like, a little furnace area, a chest, whatever's. Um, yeah, so I'll probably put a little chimney uh, right around here. And yeah, so this is kind of what we're dealing with right now. Like I said, I'm super duper proud of it. I think it looks great. I think it's really gonna make this place pop, especially with all of the cherry forest around. It's just really, it's gonna be it's going to have such a great pop of color. So this is the bigger house uh, that I am building. And I I think I'm running out of resources. So I'm going to have to go gather a little bit more resources. And I am going to build uh, this smaller house, probably off camera. But you get the general gist of what I'm going with as far as the basic villager houses. So... I'll be right back when I'm all done with this little house. Alrighty, I think my houses are for the most part done. There are a couple more details that I do want to add, um, but I do have a lot of details added. I think it looks so good. Look at that. Look, at, I, I put on some shaders so we can see it in all of its glory oh my goodness look at the sun peeking through both of them oh it looks so good so good i want to see like what it looks like at night i did put um some hidden glowstone around just to light things up a little bit more um that iron golem is like in the way dude but yeah you walk through here i made this path a little bit better we have a little pink tulip patch over here oh let's fix this there we go that looks better so we have you know our interior here that we saw earlier and this is our smaller smaller one uh i think I think we need to do something about this uh, roof right here, though. There we go. That looks better. We actually have, like, a roof going on. We have our soul lanterns scattered throughout. It looks a little weird next to all this. Uh, we've got some bushes. We've got some, um, what are they? Azalea stuff? But yeah, I think it's looking real real nice we're gonna go ahead and sleep make it day so that no zombies uh mess up our stuff i don't where did my villagers go did nobody decide to claim this that's sad <laughs> don't worry i'll force them back in here but yeah so i'm super proud of this so proud it looks so good i hope you guys like it let me know how you how you like it Look at that. Oh my gosh, it's so good. It's so good. Earlier, I said that we are going to find a nice horse and we're going to name him. So we're going to go do that. I'm going to go grab a saddle and we'll see what horses we can find. And I'm going to name it. And like I said before, you guys tell me, you guys guess why I named the horse the way I do. And you get a cookie. Whoever gets it right first, you get a cookie. Alright, we got our saddle. And I know for a fact that there are some horses over here. So let's go ahead and check them out. We'll tame them. We'll see how how good they are. Sounds like uh, my son just woke, woke up, so I'm going to have to wrap this up quite quick. Okay, you. Oh. Empty hand. That's right. All right. Love me. Please. I'm a professional. No. Come on. Yeah. Okay. We did it. Let's see how they are. This is slow as heck, dude. Bad. Bad horse. All right. 
Let's see about you. All right. Come here. I do like me a black steed. It looks super cool. If this one is better, I think we're, we'll uh, go ahead and grab this horse. Oh, there we go. All right. Um, I think both of them are really slow. I think this one's just a tiny bit better. Let's see. Are there any more horses around? I'm not seeing any more. Ho oh, there's a horse down there. Let's see. Let's see about that guy. Let's see. About that guy. I'll be right back. If this guy is no good, I think we'll take the uh, black horse. And I think I said uh, either last episode or the episode before that. I don't know. But I said that I wanted to... Uh, get like the fastest horse possible so if i could get a good start on that that would be good if we could not be in the trees that would be awesome thank you thank you thank you oh what are you what <laughs> okay thank you love me please come on bud you're freaking difficult dude why are you so nasty there we go all right let's see let's see what you got oh this is this is definitely better Definitely better. Okay, this is our horse. I'm sorry, Black Steed. You just weren't good enough. Not the fastest, but definitely a lot better than the other two. So let's go ahead and go name this guy. I'm excited to name him. Oh my goodness. We'll have to build a, a stable for our llamas and our horse. So let's go ahead. Let's get off here. Let's go ahead and grab a lead and a, one of our name tags and we'll put it in here all right here's the name his name is mayo go ahead and leave a comment guessing why i named him mayo but i really like it and i think it's perfect so we have a horse now should we give him some armor i think we should hold on i'm gonna give him a little bit of armor we got some iron horse armor because he's not the best so he doesn't really deserve uh <laughs> diamond there we go looking snazzy dude all decked out nice drip <laughs> all right guys i'm gonna wrap up this episode here i hope you liked the builds today um i'm sorry i messed up i'm gonna try not to do it again um but yeah so um in the next episode i think we will build a stable we'll build a stable real quick for all of our wonderful llamas and mayo and i think we'll start some automatic uh animal farms like a cow crusher and like an automatic chicken farm and stuff like that um so we'll do that so that we can clean up our pens that are over there and then we will build uh, we'll, I think at the end of every every episode, we will add on to the village. Uh, we will remodel one house after every episode so that, you know, eventually we will have the whole thing done. I think that's a pretty solid plan. That way I'm not completely bombarding myself with 10 million houses to build in like one episode. Uh, so we'll do it over time. I think that's a great idea. So if you did enjoy this episode, go ahead and hit that like button, that subscribe button, they don't bite, and I will see you guys in the next episode. Bye y'all!